Introducing the horses, race number four. The fourth is the second division, two-year-old Colts and Gildings in the second leg of Ohio Sire Sticks. Racing one mile, a purse of $14,000. Field of nine, there are no changes. Nine minutes until post time. The one is a gray son of Towner's big guy. Oh, by Charles Meyer and Dave Stratton of Ottawa, Ohio. Dave Stratton trains. Already with a mark at Hoosier Park, two minutes and one. Coming in from Northfield Park in Ohio, Sires. Drawing the rail tonight, Dave Hawk driving. Gray guy. The two is a son of Rocky Bogart. Oh, by Wilson Witten of Tamarack, Florida. And Tony Clyer of Louisville, Kentucky. Wilson Witten, the uh, trainer, making only his second career start here this evening. Number two is Real Rocky for Mike Wilder. The three is a son of Tucson Hanover, owned by Ken Sommer Valeria, Ohio Allen Real Trains. Making his second career start this evening, coming off a win at Wilmington in the county fair circuit. David Miller driving Tucson Corey. The four is a son of Falcon Almahurst, owned by Jim Arledge and George Smith of Washington Courthouse. Jim Arledge Jr., the uh, trainer, with a mark of 201. Coming in from Northville Park, Ohio, Sire Sticks, his sixth career start. No doubter for Donovan Jr. Number five is a son of Tudor Scooter, owned by John Rogers of Florida, Frank Botch Jr., and Robert Gilmore of Ohio, Jurassic, the trainer. Undefeated, he's now two of two in his young racing career, already with a mark of one fifty-seven, eight thousand dollars in earnings. Jack Scooter, driven tonight by Joe Essig Jr. The six, a son of Tanner's big guy, owned by Billy Sizemore of Miamisburg, Dan Purdue trains. A Northfield Park mark of two minutes and three, earnings of seven thousand seven hundred dollars. Eric Lentford driving Tanner's Bayou. The seven is another son of Tanner's big guy, owned by Lester Holland of Middletown. Glenn Collins, the trainer, with a mark of 201 and three, winning two of five already this year. Brad Hanner's driving big, stormy. The eight is from the first crop of nuclear siren. Owned by Dean Davis of Worcester, Ohio, Kurt Sugg trains. In from uh, Northfield and Lexington, nuclear burner driven by Jeff Fout. And the nine horse, the son of Noble and Sam, over the Polici and the Motors of Ravenna, Ohio, Marty Willem trains. He comes in from Northfield Park with two wins in six starts, a mark of 203 and two. Joe Adamski driving Sammy. Second division, two year old Colts and Gildings lining up, moving in. They're on the back stretch and approaching the start. Handed the off, and it's Jack's Scooter, first for the lead, alongside and second, no doubter. From the inside of three, Tucson Corey, far outside and fourth, comes Big Stormy. Off the pylons, five, comes Gray Guy, angling in sixth, Towner's Bayou. Inside to seventh, as they round the first turn, it's real rocky. At the rail in eighth, his nuclear burner, the trailer, Sammy. Here the first quarter mile marker, Jack Scooter grabs a lead here and sets the pace. No doubter has been parked to the outside. He's uncovered, but he's coming with a rush. Opening panel in 27 seconds flat, and no doubter quickly takes a lead. Jack Scooter comes right back to the outside. He'll retake that lead, and no doubter will let him go now for the garden spot trip. Out to the rail in third is Tucson Corey, and here comes the gray. Gray guy moving first up on the outside, fourth. Big Stormy out the wheel is fifth, and Towner's Bayou now with live cover to the outside, drafting along sixth. Directly behind him is New Killer Burner, shuffle back, real rocky Sammy trails the half, 57 and 2. Around the clubhouse tier into the back stretch they go, and it's Jack Scooter by two. No doubter to the inside is racing second, Gray Guy to the outside is third, Towner's Bayou second over fourth. Inside racing five, Tucson Corey out the wheel in sixth is Big Stormy. Out of the outside with cover, seventh new killer burner. Feels slowly coming together here as they race towards a three quarter mile marker, but it's still Jack's scooter. Heavily favored here by two. Three quarters, one, 26 and four. And it's Jack's scooter, but no daughter is now well rested and ready for the stretch drive. Tucson Corey comes into contention, and here comes Big Stormy as they turn for home now, less than an eighth of a mile ago, and 
down the stretch they come, and Jack Scooter all out here. No daughter to the outside, and Tucson Corey is showing some late pace. Here comes Tucson Corey on the inside. Big Stormy the outside, but it's Tucson Corey to the inside, getting up to win it. Big Stormy was second, and no doubter third. The second division, second leg of Ohio Sire Sticks action. Number three, Tucson Corey. A Bay Colt side by Tucson Hanover from the Falcon Elmerhurst Mare My Taboo. All by Ken Sommer, Valeria, Ohio. Alan Regal trains Dave Miller in the Sonke. Tucson Corey now undefeated in his rookie career, two of two, and with that, a mark of 157 and three fifths. For driver Dave Miller, it's a driving triple already this evening, winning three of the first four races. Tracks on to make the trophy presentation from U.S. Air, Celine Ransdell, Don Ransdell, and Angie Ransdell, along with Janet Kellyher. Fourth race perfect at 3-7, $133.60, one thirty-three sixty.